Four wheels taxi, how can I help? Mm hmm. Number four, by the side of the building. Thanks a lot. A silver car, number 410, will arrive in 10 minutes. Ten minutes. Have a nice day. You've reached Four Wheels Taxi. Give me your address and phone number. 45th. Yeah, I'm here. Uh-huh. Where are you going? What's that again? Tolia, I wanted to ask you all day. Why are you so sad? Uh-huh. My kid is sick. Sveti. I want to drop in to see him. Okay, I'll try to find an order close to the house. You can drive by and come over. Thanks a lot. Four wheels and a heart. Hey! Your hunk has arrived. I'm leaving for a sec. Go on, go on. <laughs> hmm. I only came by for a couple of minutes. Hmm. Here's the thing. Check it out, aren't they cool? Are you here for that? Listen, well, I need to bring them the money tonight. Kostya, you know I need to pay my loans well, today. Well, okay, we'll borrow from the relatives, please. Just look, 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 they're very beautiful. Please, sweetheart. Okay, mm. okay, I'll give it to you. <laughs> yes. Four Wheels Taxi Service, yeah. Mm hmm what's the address? Where are you going? Mm hmm uh, about 10 to 15 minutes. The third drive? Okay, got it. Lana, hi. Hello there. You mm. get prettier and prettier. Well. That's a nice jacket. I try, I try. Here. Thanks. Listen, I'll be home late today. It's work, okay? Business meeting? You're my smart girl. You get everything. Kostya. What? I ironed your shirt. It's in the wardrobe. Cool, then I'll put on the new shirt and tie that you gave me. Okay, then. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 Tolik. Yeah, what's up? Take Podbelskaya Street 274. 274. Mm -hmm. How long? Ten minutes. Ten? Ten minutes. And so? What's up with all these night meetings? Kostya has a flexible schedule. He's the chief manager. Really? Is your manager's night also that flexible? Are you a kid or what? Don't you see that he's lying to you, cheating on you? How can you not understand that? <sighs> Four Wheels Taxi listening. Yes. Give me the address. So much metal, huh? Just look. Have you ever seen such a beautiful thing, Dad? Ask me what I didn't see, Dima. Right now it's a pile of scrap iron. But we'll get it restored. It'll shine so bright we'll have to squint. Uh-huh. Well, where are we going to find the parts for it? Where do you think? Thank you so much, Soviet car industry. I think that we'll take a transmission and the engine from another car. Where are we going to get chrome from? Well, Dima, we signed up for it, so we'll find it. Relax. Oh, hey, Lipa. What's up? Everything's fine. Lipa, take a look at this. Look at what we're working on. Girl, why are you so sad? Lipa, what happened? It's nothing. I can see. Hey, stop polishing that now. We need to recondition it. Back off. I do what I can.
You've reached Four Wheels Taxi? Um, give me the address, will you please? Yes? 15 to 20 minutes. Have a nice day. So, let's track him down. What for? I already know where he meets the other girl he's seeing. Oh, you know. So? What so? I don't know what to do next. That's simple. You go over, start a fight, catch him red-handed. That's what's done in cases like this. And then what? <sighs> next. Well... You know... <laughs> If it was my husband doing something like that, I'd give him a good kick. And he'd fly to his girlfriend just like that. I can't do that. How can you not leap a look at yourself? You look like a ghost. How much longer You've can... reached Four Wheels Taxi. Ugh. Give me the address and the telephone number. Where are you going? Hey, look what a beauty is waiting, huh? And we're doing hell knows what. Hell knows what, Dima? We've also got to earn some money. Mm -hmm. Are you ever going to go home, are you? Oh, hey, Valgadir. Hey there. Our mommy has come home. She Careful, you get it all dirty. Put the bag on the table. Wash your hands and eat something. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> what can I do with you workaholics? I won't let you go home. You'll sleep on a rug by the doorstep. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know, Valya, we aren't drinking vodka on a back street, right? Or do you have a problem with something? Shut up, talker. Go wash your hands. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What have we got today? Meatballs. Oh, yeah, hey, meatballs are great. You're gonna get thin. After I have the baby, I'll ask Lipa to take care of you. Well, yeah, you should talk to her. She's so sad, it doesn't tell us anything. Is Kostya acting up again? The man has no purpose in life. So he fools around. Why aren't you taking any bread? You should eat up. Home already? Leaving already. Where to? On a work trip. Well, let me put your shirts in, or they'll be all wrinkled. Give it here. I'll take care of it. Kostya, what's wrong? Just look at your hands. I'm sick of it that you always stink of engine oil. A woman's supposed to smell of perfume. Calm down. I was in a hurry to get home. I didn't have time to wash up. I'm sick that you're never home when I'm leaving. I'm sick of that mess inside the kitchen. I'm sick of the fast food all the time. Then go to hell. You don't have to come back. So? Do you think I'm not sick of your fake work trips? Your night business meetings? Do you think that I don't know that you are cheating on me? I know about all of them. I'm fed up. Then I won't say that I'm sorry and won't look for excuses. 
And I'm fed up with living in this house with a woman who can't even have any children. Let go. Doctors all say that I'm healthy. Let go, it hurts. I say to hell with all of your doctors. I'll go to a woman who's expecting my child. And here, take your gift back. We'd better call Lipa Dima, or she'll be offended. She'll say we started on the Plymouth without her. She's not answering. Go on, Dad'll teach you. You've gotten too smart lately. Oh, wow. Zika, where'd you get that? What happened? A lucky bike ride, it seems. He needed three stitches. Dad, I learned to ride without the handlebars. Cool, isn't it? Did you also learn to ride without your head? Huh? Careful. <sighs> Grandpa, you'll think it was good. It was a bet, ah, and I won. Chica, my little hero. My blood. But you need to actually know how How to is ride. he a hero, Grandpa? He all almost right, broke all his right. neck. All right, now that's enough. hero, hero, hero. Listen, Valya, why didn't you call Lippa? She hasn't phoned back, and she hasn't come in. How could I with these hospital issues? Okay, I'll go and take a quick look. What will you do? You shouldn't run, not in your condition. But I should walk anyway. Okay, I'm going. Very carefully. <laughs> I'm leaving Zika here with you. That part is a booster coil. Okay, so right. don't go near these metal things. Don't wave your hand around. Be still and don't get in the way. Mm -hmm. Got it? So will we do what mom said? Mm -hmm. Does your hand hurt? Mm. No? No. So what is this? Uh, those are brake hoses. Right, and this? It's so good that you're home. I need to talk to you. You know, Zika is getting out of hand. He started lying. He told me today, Mom, I'll play with the boys in the yard. He went to the park and fell there so hard they had to stitch him up at the first aid station. That's how he was learning how to ride hands-free. He came home, see? The shirt, the pants, all are torn, all bloody and calms me down. He says, Mom, don't worry, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Just like his father. Yeah. Dima loves you. Takes care of you. Nobody treats me like that. Nobody. Did Kostya do something? He left. And he's not coming back. He says that he has a kid with her. To hell with him. He left, that's good. You're a pretty girl and a, a kind one, Lipa. You'll, you'll find a smart guy and 
a handsome one and caring. <laughs> Don't you understand me? I won't ever have kids, so I won't have a real family. What am I even living for? Who needs it anyway? <laughs> what about Dima? And Dad, Zika, me, aren't we a family? <laughs> Chica, come pick it up, it's spilled. I can't, cause my arm isn't a bandage. Your arm, no pain, no gain, like they say. Mom said I need to take care of my arm. And you remember just now that you have to listen to her? Zika! Hmm. Yeah? Tell me, while Mom isn't here, how'd you fall off the bike? I had bet the guys that I can ride without the handlebars, and I could. Uh, yeah, I got that. Now, tell the truth. What was next? It's all because of Uncle Costio. I saw him, and there was a girl with him, and he was hugging her. And her belly was like Mommy's. Like Mommy's? Yeah. I'm not a baby. I understand. So I was looking, and I rode into a tree. <sighs> so it's time to punch someone. I promised him at his wedding. If he hurt Leopa, I'd break his face. I think so, too. You are too small to think that. I told you. I'd punch you if you hurt Leepa. Huh? Uh, yes, you did. And we'll have some. You see? I told you so. And I... I always keep my word, Kostya. Listen, you have kids, right? I want some too, so I left for a woman who's expecting my child. <laughs> you hurt Lipa. You broke her heart. If I see you again, I'll kill you. You get it? is on the way. Uh, Green Skoda, number 199NV, could you come outside, please? <clears throat> hey, guys. Who's free in the sales area? A woman with a kid, a suburban railway station. Right, hurry, hurry. All right, I can Uh-huh, I got it. Where were you? It's been a madhouse. 25 is free in the center area. Dispatcher, answer. 25 is free in the center area. Yes, I got it. You've reached Four Wheels Taxi. Did you catch him and kick him out? I caught him and he left. Hmm. <laughs> well, hey, that's great. Here, Lipa dear, this is where your life starts. We're working in a male collective. We'll find a replacement for him soon. I don't want to find anyone. A happy family life is all lies. It's all lies everywhere. No, you just met a wrong man. I chose him myself. So you'll be smarter next time. Stop it, okay? You'll recover. Make up and go straight ahead. You hear me? You've reached Four Wheels Taxi. <sighs> Where are you going? Here we have a big, luxurious apartment. It's true, it does need some light cosmetic repairs. <laughs> cosmetic repairs? I think a pigsty is cleaner, right? Here is the toilet. There is the bathroom and the kitchen. How can you even live here? It's wet and really dirty. Yes, well, at least the price is affordable. Make a minimal effort. I mean, everything should be okay. Okay, homeless people won't live here, and we'll have a baby soon. So, there's another flat in this neighborhood, but it's slightly more expensive. Uh, how? How much more expensive? 
Twice as expensive. Twice as much. How can anyone afford these kind of prices, huh? You want a flat in the center of the city. Prices are higher here. We want it to be clean and cozy and pay a reasonable price. Reasonable to what? Reasonable to our budget. I see. Well, I'm meeting with the owner, and you can look at it one more time. Hmm? It's all bad. It's all bad. You won't ever stop. You know, my grandma got a death certificate on my grandpa during the war. And whoops, he came home alive in a year. See what I'm saying? Why are you telling me that? Because you shouldn't believe in bad things. I saw him with his side girl with my own eyes. So you did. I'll take you to my gynecologist. She's an experienced doctor. You'll have a baby and more than one. You have to believe in that, understand? I won't go to any more doctors. I've had enough. Everyone says that I'm healthy, but we had no baby. And it's not Kostya's fault if his side girl is pregnant. And I said we will go, so we're going to go. I'm very pregnant and very nervous. That's very good. The only thing I can say is that you are perfectly healthy. Then why wasn't I able to get pregnant? <sighs> I studied the results from your tests very closely, and I examined you myself. I can't find any logical reason. But there are no kids. Come see me with your husband. Nowadays, it's often the man that has the problem. He has no problem in that area. He left me for a woman who's expecting his baby. Well then, what I can say is... It could be immunological infertility. In other words, partner incompatibility. It happens with 10% of infertile couples. So it was your fate that you had to change the partner. It's easy to say, change the partner, as if it's like shoes, or a dress, or a hairstyle. Don't be so literal. It's just medical terminology. Does this terminology include any feelings? Are you still in love with Kostya? In love. I feel like I was... Skinned alive. I don't feel anything but pain. Lipa, I will tell you this. Time is the best mm -hmm. doctor. Really. They'll restore the Plymouth for you in the garage. Listen to me. You'll buy a new dress, get a new haircut, and everything. Valya. Uh. What? Oh. <laughs> you can't deny a pregnant woman. Remember that. <laughs> You're a cunning fox. <laughs> okay, the potatoes are almost ready. In five minutes, a silver car. 17 is on this one. House number four, right away. Uh huh, thank you.
Well then, the car is ready to go. Now for a new dress. And a haircut. That's right. <laughs> I'm getting so sick of this. Give me the phone. What am I to do with this? It's like living in the Stone Age. This is terrible. Really? It is, it is. Kostya, imagine if we had a baby. He would cry because it's so dark. Horrible, darling, right? Horrible. <clears throat> uh, okay, I'll talk to the landlady. Ask her for normal light, like in normal houses. Normal light won't help us, Kostya. We just can't live here after the baby's born. Hmm? I know. I don't know what to do. Kostya. I think you're paying far too much for your noble gesture. Just think about it. Your ex now lives in a three-room apartment. And you're sitting here, is that fair? Hmm? I didn't deregister yet, by the way. I have a right to the apartment. Mm-hmm. It really isn't fair. It really isn't. Tonya. Hmm? Get ready to go. To where? You'll see. Come on, get ready, get ready. What are you doing here? Tonya, sit down. You shouldn't stand. What on earth is this? Tonya and I will live here. No. Yes. We'll have a baby soon. What does that have to do with me? We have nowhere to live. You have a really nice flat in a wonderful area. It's only fair. What do you have to do with my flat? It's mine. And we are divorced. Yes, but I didn't deregister. And while you're busy in court, Tanya will give birth. And no one in their right mind would evict us. So just bear that in mind, Lipa. Keep your hands off. <laughs> you know you look good with that hairstyle. Divorce had a good effect on you. Maybe you remember something of the old days.
What a bastard you are. You have a pregnant wife. Right, that's the point. You said it yourself, pregnant. I'm a normal man. I need female attention and regular sex. And where's Tanya? The bathroom. And then she'll be putting on makeup. We have an hour, at least. You're an idiot. And you are making me so horny, so, uh... <laughs> Get off! Think about it. Look at it with perspective. Before Tanya was your enemy, it's your chance to get revenge. Or I'll have to look for someone else. You're such a bastard. I guess that's a no. Why are you crying? Tanya, I need to get up and go to work early. You either tell me everything now or I'm going to bed. I'm really afraid of being left alone with the kid. I won't be left alone. I'll fight. Who? Who? Kostya, his cheating. I'm not you. Of course you're not. Good luck with that fight. <laughs> I grew up in an orphanage. I know what it's like to live without parents. Then learn to live with Kostya's cheating. No. Not ever. Liba? Liba, help me, please. What can I possibly do to help? I know where he is and who he's with. Just drive me there. Can you do that for me? I won't do that. Look, it's night outside. I'm just afraid to go alone. Please give me a ride. You have a car, please. I have a car. But not the desire. Call for a taxi. Lipa. I have no money for a taxi. Fine, let me change my clothes. How do you know where he is and who he's with? The wife must know everything about the husband, or he's bound to leave her. Young and green. For me, I couldn't admit it for five years that Kostya was cheating. That's not right. You have to hold your happiness tightly. I'm not sure that's happiness. A kid must have a father. I'll keep anyone by my side. I see Kostya's in good hands. Mm -hmm. I saw you in a cafe, by the way. 
did nothing. I just left. Hmm. There. Stop. That's it. We're here. The lovebirds are here, I'm sure. Are you sure? <sighs> There's no one here. You're wrong. Let's just go home. No, I won't give up like that. Are you nuts? People are sleeping. They go to work tomorrow. That's how you lost a man, because of your lack of character. Let me be. They'll open. Wait, they'll come out. Everything will be fine. <sighs> Hello, come here. Stop. Hey, what the hell's going on? Where is he? Who? Who? My husband and your wife. There's no one here. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm of sorry, course, it's hiding. just this girl thinks that her husband and his girlfriend are hiding in your flat. There's no husband here, only me. Listen, I need sleep. I'm a long haul trucker. I need to sleep like an astronaut. Oh, your wife is cheating and you're sleeping like an astronaut. Listen, you, That's great. Does this crazy woman really think I'm hiding my wife and her boyfriend here? Well, maybe we can understand her. She's having a baby soon and the father is off who knows where. Oh, I didn't <sighs> notice. And who are you? I'm this Don Juan's former wife. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that. Lipa, I don't understand. Ladies, did you see everything? I'm sorry. Accepted. Now, goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Sweet dreams to you. Tanya... Let's go. Tanya, it's late. Let's go home. I'm not going anywhere. I'll wait here. Enough! He'll come in the morning and you do what you want. Now let's go home or I'm going alone. Lipa. Tanya. Tanya, well, what? Okay, okay, what? Okay, you have to get up. You can't sit here like this. What is it? You can see for yourself. She's giving birth. The car's down there? Wait, I'll put on some clothes. Okay, okay, okay. Everything will be okay. We're going, we're going now, okay? Just hold on. Okay, go on. You know, you drive pretty well for a woman. I know that. I had very good teachers. I was teaching my wife and no results. And you, you're nice to look at. Oh! Watch her, she's gotten worse. We'll be there real soon. Please! Please, Tanya, please. Tanya, girl, hold on, just breathe. Go faster, please! We're going fast enough already. Go on, let's breathe together. Breathe with me. So you're a long-haul trucker? Experienced. I've been driving the country for 10 years. I've been everywhere. What kind of truck do you have? Kamaz. That's a good truck. It just burns a lot of diesel oil. About six quarts per mile or so. How do you know that, if it's not a secret? My brother drives a Kamaz. Local people. <laughs> Time to get introduced. Michael, you can call me Misha. Olympiada. Lipa. That's a rare, beautiful name. Where's Kostya? You have very... very funny relationships. Your family is an ex-wife, an ex-husband, 
And his current wife is an ex-side girl, right? I see yours has some issues too. You're sitting here while your wife is having fun with her boyfriend whose wife is giving birth. <sighs> Luckily, I'm not married. I recently divorced and I seldom visit that flat. A burglar then? I'm looking after the flat while my sister Lucia is away. And all this mess is because of my neighbor Marina. Why are you covering up for her? Her husband's jealous. That, and uh, she's my sister's closest friend. It's very noble to cover up somebody's cheating. Yeah. Now I understand that you pay for the good that you do. Finally, you've seen the light. Mm -hmm. You deserve that. I'm sitting here in the middle of the night and I'm waiting for a total stranger to give birth. But that's nuts. Daddy, dear, wake up. Good news, you have a son. Congrats. I'm not the father. And you are? I'm the father's ex-wife. Mm. The mother's friend. Crap. Mm. Kostya. Kostya, you have a son. Leave that girl and go to maternity clinic number 36. I don't know how. Take a taxi. Jeez, people these days. Mm. Well, I believe our job here is done, mm -hmm. don't you? <laughs> Absolutely. Let me drive you home. Thanks a lot, Lipa. And since we almost just took delivery, I suggest you say all of you. I don't mind. Yeah, Lipa. Dima, good morning. Why are you up so early? What happened? Dima, help me. As it happened, I kept a man from sleeping all night, but he has to go on a long haul now. <laughs> well, congratulations, sister. You're getting better. <sighs> Dima, can you be the second driver? <clears throat> Is he a good man, at least? He is. <laughs> okay, then. I'll come now. What choice do I have? Wait there for me. <clears throat> What's going on? Hey, it's early. Just sleep. Go back to sleep. Just sleep. <sighs> hey. Misha. <clears throat> Time to wake up. Oh, look. What time is it? You were in a deep sleep. Why didn't you wake me up? Well, you were sleeping so deeply. Yes, and I overslept everything. Listen, Lipa, I'm sorry. I'm not inviting you up for a cup of coffee. I only have time to pack up and get to work w right. Wait a sec. What? I have an offer to make you. What? Another woman about to give birth? <laughs> I arranged it with my brother. He's going to be your second driver. You married me without me? Mm-hmm. Thanks, Lipa. I'll manage, though. That's entirely your choice. But think about the people that you might hurt when you fall asleep while you're driving. 
Uh, is it that brother who's a long haul mm -hmm. trucker? And what's the catch? Did your sister leave for a long time? Half a year. Lend me her flat for that time. I just don't want to live with the ex and his mm -hmm. good time girl mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. It's a deal. <laughs> and as a bonus, I'll drive you to work. Listen, Lipa. You're very nice to work with. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. I just need to sure. grab my bag. Here. Oh, thanks, dear. <sighs> Lipa. <laughs> you look like you partied all night long. That's pretty close, but I'm a free woman. Why do you, a married person, mm. also look like that, huh? A married person has a typhoon, a storm, a flood, and an earthquake all at the same time. <laughs> Did the mother-in-law come over? Oh. <laughs> Mommy couldn't sleep, so nobody slept, you know. She likes ordering people around so much. I remember the last time you drove yourself to a blood pressure crisis. Why do you say I drove myself? She was the one who drove me. <sighs> when you're listening 24-7 that you're cooking wrong, cleaning wrong, ironing wrong, who can live with that? Sorry oh. to hear that. <sighs> yeah, I'm so sick of her, God, you know. The toothpaste is wrong, I use wrong detergents, I'm poisoning her son, the whole family. I don't know where to go. If it's not for a very long time, you can just tell her you need to help me with some wallpaper. I want to help with the wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Lipa, thank you. Or I'd go insane. Cool, I'll be having fun too. Excellent. What do you think of my haircut? Get away. Going somewhere? Is that so hard to answer? Far away from you. Uh -huh. Did you find someone? Who is he? You'd better tell me where you're going. They won't let people in the clinic anymore. For some diapers, maybe. Hmm. Drive me and you'll know. <laughs> you're a cocky bastard. Oh, I called my mother. She was happy there's a grandson. She'd promised to come and help Tanya. And Mrs. Risa will be here too. Great. What's wrong? She wanted a grandson. You know, you also might stay and help Tanya. Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. No problem, yeah. thank you. I'm enjoying myself. Maybe you'll work with me, huh? No, I can't. My wife won't let me. Okay. Why don't you have a partner? He quit on me. <clears throat> I have my last haul, too. I want to take a second Kamaz and start working with transportation. I have to work on myself, you know? That's a good choice. So tell me, where do you work? Mm. My father and I have a workshop, mm. Shremont Repair. And in our spare time, we're into restoring retro cars. Listen, Dima, I have an old Pabita in my grandfather's. I want to fix it, but I didn't have time. Someone needs to take care of it. Seriously? Gap M20? Yeah. Are you kidding? I'm telling you. Man, I've been wanting one for years. You see, if we fix it, everyone here will just go, wow, that's cool. It's old and used, but the engine works. Maybe we could... Listen, Misha, maybe we'll get back from the hall and move it to our garage? Okay. Well, let's see. You've got a deal. Yeah? Get in, let's go. Mm. <sighs> Do you have the right toothpaste? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I see you didn't take anything but a toothbrush. No, I also took some clothes. <laughs> 
This portrait? Yeah. Mm, it's a nice house, not bad. I'll be out soon. How did you track me down? I didn't. I'm not interested. Who are you two? What are you doing here? And what are you doing here? Uh, Although I can see for myself. Uh, <clears throat> Listen here, girls. Why don't you just both get lost, okay? We wouldn't think of it. Uh huh. Why are you just standing there? Make these women leave right now. And that's my ex. And her friend. I didn't know they were coming. Uh. It took you a while, but you woke up. You listen up. Misha gave me the keys, but where you got them from and why you're turning it into a brothel, that's the question. Oh, Misha is a nobody. I got the keys from the owner of this apartment. You two need to get the hell out of here. So, I have a different offer. You two part ways now and go, okay? Kostya, you go to your wife and kid Already and you... going, okay? Marina, I seriously advise you to think about your husband. Oh. I know just where to find him, and I can tell him everything in painstaking detail. Okay, 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 okay. I'm leaving. <sighs> one more minute of your time. Since I'm the one living here now, I'll watch out for the house and try to uphold the moral values of its owner, in particular. And now you may both leave. Listen, what do you want anyway? Are you the morality police and never cheated on your husband? Marina, don't test our temper. Keys on the table. And goodbye. Nice housewarming. I've been steering since I was six while sitting on my dad's lap. We are exactly alike. Yeah? My father taught me as a kid, too. I also thought, I'll have a boy, and I'll teach him to drive. But I had a girl instead. So are you married? was. I'm divorced. She found a richer guy with more promise. I rarely see <clears throat> my daughter. I have a son, Zika, eight years old, a real troublemaker. <laughs> and we're expecting. Good for you. I won't go to the registry office now. No woman can make me do that. No, I'm not a monk, of course. I can have fun, but nothing more. What's so funny? <laughs> Come on, Misha. I saw men like that dragged to the registry in droves. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Listen, were you the one who taught Lipa to drive? She's pretty good at it. Yeah, we even competed in races. Shush. That's unbelievable. I don't know any women racers. Hmm? Have you known Lipa long? What? Lipa, have you known her long? We met yesterday, accidentally. Good sister you have there. You know, Misha, I'm telling you seriously. Do not just have a good time with my sister. I wouldn't think of it. Good, don't think of it.
to hell with everything. Damn it. <laughs> Hello. Mom, when will you be getting here? How? What do you mean, broken arm? Mom, you're letting me down. I'm depending on you. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll talk to you later. Damn it. Oh. Kostya. Hello, Kostya. Hi. Hi, yes. Kostya, I'm checking out tomorrow. Okay. Isn't that great? That's great. Yeah, Kostya, bring the bonnet, linen, the blanket for the baby. And the money for the doctor and the assistant. I see, but I have problems with the car. Kostya, why don't you ask Lipa? Hers is small, but it's clean and we don't have to pay to use it. There's no Lipa. She left. You can call a taxi. Just make sure you ask for one that is big and that is clean. And that doesn't smell like gasoline, okay? Got it. All of it. Come on. Okay. See you tomorrow. What a day it's been, huh? Wait just a second. Hurry up, ladies. Spuffle, yeah, 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 I got take it. it. Yes, give me the address, please. Hello, Dima, how are you doing? Okay, we're back already. Come to the garage this evening, I have some news. Well, that's good. Uh, yes, of course. Yes, I will. Mm-hmm. Yes, wait for 20 minutes, no more. Mm-hmm, have a nice day. Lipa? Huh. <laughs> hey, what's up? Nothing, it's all fine. Why are you suddenly so sad? Dima called me and said they're back, and Misha didn't call me. Mm. He will. <laughs> Kostya! Oh. Uh, hello, congrats. Thank you. Thank you. There for you. <laughs> Congratulations on your son. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye bye. No. Thank See you. you. Goodbye. Drive safe. Kostya, did you buy luck. the diapers? Huh? I said, did you buy the diapers? Yes. And the dusting? The dusting, yes. That's Get good. in. Why does he have light hair when mine is darker? Mm. Kostya, all children are like that. It'll get dark with time. Here. Be careful. Uh, are you sure it will get dark? I'll be getting gray faster. <sighs> It's great. Wow, hi, brother. Uh, hey, sis. Uh, what do you think? 
awesome. <laughs> you need to scrape the rust off, though. Yeah, of course. There's a lot to do. Yeah, but that's easy. Where's Dad? He went to buy parts. Something from Volga, something from UAZ. I'm messing with the screws there, and I'm thinking, where the hell did Dima get such pretty legs? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Why should I? It's his car. I thought he would tell you. What are you talking about in there? Didn't you, didn't you tell her? Me? That's right, guys. Way to get your story straight, huh? Okay, Lipa. That's enough critique. Let's, uh, let's just get to work, okay? Hey, can you give me the uh, number 11 crescent wrench, beautiful? I never thought I'd have such a pretty and talented assistant. We're a good team. Move over, Misha. Talker. Hey, move over. Ugh. Kasha, bring some water, please. Kasha! What? Get me a glass of water, please. Are you crazy? Are you going to give him water? Jesus, I need it myself. My mouth is all dry. <gasps> I don't have a minute to just sit and take a break. Oh, I'm so sick of all this screaming. Shh. Come, Shh. Come here. Where's the kitchen? It's there. So go and pour yourself some water. It isn't that difficult, okay? Where are you going? To work. To work? Yes, and I'll be staying there tonight. I have a report that's due. That's due tomorrow. My head is just, I need some rest. Don't you understand? I can't focus on anything at all here. <laughs> Lipa, give me a number 17 wrench. Is it somewhere there? Here. Oh, well, thanks a lot. In general, to be honest, the machine is quite good. Dima! Dima! Are you gonna work at all? Come over here. What are they doing for so long? How is that your concern? You see, they're happy. My concern? That is my sister! I said don't disturb them. Listen. We forgot the radiator grid. But well, we took it. No, we didn't. Where is it if we took it? Uh, uh, let me take a look. That's enough, you lovebirds. Dima, we're working. Don't disturb Dima. us. Dima! No, Dad. We didn't take it. Just as I told you. Yeah, yeah, you told me. Where so are you going? Go. What about dinner? We don't have time for dinner. Yeah, we're going to get it now. We paid for it. But what about dinner? Potatoes. Actually, Grandpa wanted an engine with more power. Dad talked him out of it because... Because they'd have to take the transmission off of the flywheel. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a secret, but how do you know that? My dad. I'm starting to fall in love. With your father. Oh. 
Oh. Lipa! What? I'm giving birth. What? I'm giving birth, I tell you. Oh! Well, we'd better go to the clinic Help again. Help somebody! Oh! Oh! <gasps> Thank you. So, who do I congratulate? Us! Congratulate us! Congratulations. <laughs> it's a girl. Uh, a girl? Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Best of luck. <laughs> Dima, congratulations! <laughs> Just think. <laughs> congratulations! You're a father. It's a girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Leap, I give Dad a call. Oh, yeah. Misha. Remember that conversation we had? I remember. Well, that's good. <laughs> I remember. <sighs> Did you notice the midwife's eyes when she saw us again? She was really surprised. Yeah, that's for sure. Here, take the next right ahead. Uh-huh, there, by the little cafe. Okay, slow down a little. Well done. This is where I live. I had guessed that. It was a good day today. We helped another little person to be born. A happy day. And I have a niece. I'm gonna go. Uh, tomorrow in the garage? Maybe, um, uh, we can have a cup of tea, or not, or, or maybe something stronger, if you want. I'm driving. Then some tea? I gathered it myself. Natural herbs. There's thyme, mint, currant leaves, raspberry as well. <laughs> I'd love that. <laughs> I just can't resist mint and thyme. My daughter. <laughs> She's pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Looks just like her dad. I'll help you. smell of motor oil. What? I like it. Wait a sec. Can I wash my hands first? <laughs> Svetlana, I'm all right. I probably won't be coming home tonight. The tea's ready. Here. Mm. It's so aromatic. <laughs> well then. Here's to the newborn baby. <laughs> to the new niece. Dima will, of course, tear my head off. Well, let him try. 
When you're pressing the connecting gear. No, I'm serious. Can you be serious for a minute? Come on. Lovebirds, that's enough. <laughs> okay, here we go. Sit. What? I'll show you how it works. Can you Come show here, me? Watch. Come here, let me show, show you. See what happens. Misha, right keep here. working. Dima, I'm working. Can't you see that? <laughs> Can we talk, please? Looks like he's going to be killing me right now. So, <laughs> calm down. I told you, you cannot just have fun with my sister. Listen, I'm not going to have fun. What are you doing now? Dima, it's all serious on my part. Serious? Very serious. What are... Dima. Dima. I... Stop it, okay? I have warned you again. Four, drive by the side, train station. A silver car in five minutes. Uh-huh, thank you. Yes, I'll pass your complaints along to the manager, thank you. It's all good. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes, ta-ta. Mm -hmm. What? My mother-in-law has run away. <laughs> Is that so? So your disappearing was the right idea? <laughs> of course it was. Obviously, it's one thing to give orders and another to do it all. My mother-in-law's talk about how to do everything doesn't translate into her actually getting the work done. Nice problems you have. You resolve them quickly and efficiently. Yes! Tactics and strategy are the key. But that's not what we're talking about right now, is it? Mm-mm. Michael? No, it's okay with Misha. Just, um, everything's moving a little too quickly. Too quickly? So you need the roses and candy stage? I'm afraid of serious relationships. Hmm. I'm afraid to admit <laughs> that I can't have any kids. <laughs> what if he runs away too, to a woman who can have kids? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Svetlana, help me here. I don't know what to do. You enjoy your life, stupid girl and stay silent for now. You're gonna figure it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything will be okay. Yeah. You'll see.
listen to me. <laughs> Will you marry me, Lipa? I'm serious, Lipa. Hmm? Marry me. Hmm? Hmm? Why won't you say anything? Say something. No, that's not it. Don't say something, no. Say yes. Misha, there's one but. What is this monster of a but? Hold on, hold on. Misha, I will never have any children. I won't ever be able to have kids. Understand? Are you ready for such a twist? We'll figure it out. Hmm. I love you so very much. I'll drive you in my grandfather's victory. Hmm? Misha! Misha, where are you? Dima, hey. Hello, Lipa. Dima, where's the car? Why? What? Where are you? In the garage? Where's Misha? There's no Misha and no car. So, stop. Don't cry. I'm coming. I'm not crying. Where are you going? Lipa's crying. It looks like Misha just used her. And I told her. I told her. I'm going with you. Where? To give someone some valerian pills. Well, what about the kid? I fed her. She's going to be sleeping for at least a couple of hours. Why are you standing there? What should I do? Call up Grandpa. Go on, call. Tell him what's up. Okay. Thank you, Valya. I wouldn't have handled this well alone. Damn it, he's not answering. 
Why is she so unlucky with men? We huh? need to figure it all out first. What is there to figure I don't out? I believe Misha would just run away. I don't believe it. He could, Valia. He could. He told me he hates women after his don't divorce. Don't shout. The baby's sleeping. <sighs> What are you doing? What should I do? Just put on your socks. I'll be ready in a minute. I'm waiting for you. No, 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 I'm ready. Valia! Calm down. Lipa, why do you think about the bad already? He took the car, right? He'll test it, and he'll be right back. He won't be back. He asked me to marry him yesterday, and I confessed that I can't have kids, so he left me. <laughs> what a bastard, huh? We were building that car together. Where am I even gonna look for it? He's only worried about the car. Here's a deeper problem. Go get us some valerian pills. It'll be all right. I said go get us some valerian pills. Shh, 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 shh. Everything's going to be all right. He just took the car for a drive. He'll be back, right? Tanya. Tanya, wait. Let's talk about this. I have nothing to say to you. Let me at least have a look at my son. Okay, just look. Look at him and leave. Look at him. <laughs> hey. He's smiling at me. He knows who his daddy is. <laughs> you looked? Tanya, I want to explain everything. Uh-huh. Then explain why you ran away when I was pregnant. Where have you been all this time? And what are you doing here now, huh? Tanya, I came for you. Mm-hmm. You're too late. I'm married. Do you love this guy? Does it matter? He's bringing up the child, and he thinks that it's his. I want to bring him up. I will do everything for you to make you happy. Tanya, I... I love you. I love my son. I want to marry you. What will I say to Kostya? That you don't love him. And the child isn't his. Yes, Dima? Sis, we found Misha. Did he run very far away? He's in a hospital. He was in a car crash. He was unconscious. He just woke up. In a hospital? Is he alive? Tell me, is he alive? <laughs> Leave us. Stop talking nonsense, okay? Of course he's alive if he woke up. Come down here. Misha. Hey there. Lipa, hi there. I almost went insane. How are you? I'm fine. I think I'm fine anyway. Should we go find the doctor? Yeah? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. How did this happen? Well, I said I'd drive you to the registry in grandfather's car. I wanted to check it out. So I did. Check it out. And it runs, Lipa. 
Why didn't you give me a heads up? It was a surprise. I just uh, drove out of the garage, and there was this idiot in a four-wheel drive Jeep. The car is only scratched a little bit, but his hood, bumper, side panel, and front end are all bashed in. But I got something, too. I didn't have a seatbelt on or an airbag. I don't even remember how I got here. I called Dima when I woke up, and you? Did, did you think more about the registry? <laughs> you must have thought I ran away, right? I was an idiot. My lovely idiot. Take the cucumber sandwich. Uh, yeah. Uh, mm. So what happened? The doctor came in and put him on a drip. He said he needs rest. <sighs> okay, don't worry. Eat something. You're hungry since this morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How can you eat these things? It's perfectly fresh. Mm. Mm. Since when are you disgusted by the smell of food? Are you maybe pregnant? Do you think so? I noticed that something has been going on recently, but I thought that I was just tired. Tima, let's go. Where? To the doctor. And where are we now? Which doctor? To that doctor. Come on, let's go. Uh, okay. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. What's the news? Pregnant, four weeks. Really? Congratulations! Yeah. <laughs> and for me? <laughs> and where to now? Why are you asking? Let's go home. We can't. Kostya's still living there. Kostya? You know, girls, I'll kick him out with great pleasure now. Get in. So, now you think only about the baby. No uh -huh. nerves, no crying. Walk a lot, eat right. Listen to music, okay? Hi. Come on, get in. Hi there. Uh. Where is Tanya and the baby? There is no Tanya. She left. Ran away. Hold on, did she run away with your kid? That's not my kid. I'm not the father. There's nothing worse than a woman. Hmm. <laughs> Why are you sitting here, then? Meaning? What do you think? Pack up your things, get out of here, so we never see you again. Lipa, can we talk? We have nothing to talk Listen, about. Listen, I am an idiot. Let's start all over, from the beginning, please. I'll be the perfect husband. Go away, Kostya. Lipa. Okay. You heard everything right. Lipa is pregnant, she needs rest. You'll just bother her. 
Valia, did you pack the bag? I've got it. Excellent. Come on, Kostya, get lost. Are you kidding me? Do you need some help finding the way out? I'll leave by myself. Admit it, you did all of this to evict the husband, right? Ex-husband, Kostya. Huh? Who are you pregnant from? Is it the Holy Spirit? Oh, you! <sighs> from a very good-looking man. Enough talking. Kostya, get out of here. Get your hands off me. What did you say? I said get your hands off me! Dima! Get off! Valia? <clears throat> Constantine? Thank you. Get lost. Let me walk you out now. I'm going, I'm going. Go on. All right. He made a mess while he was here. Strange. How could I love such a person? I cared about him, looked after him, like, like I would a child. I wasn't his wife, I was his mother. I thought that's what a family was like. And he just used me. He dodged and lied. Don't worry, it's harmful. Now it's all okay, isn't it? You have a man, he loves you, and cares about you. Now everything is really okay. Really, mm -hmm. I, I finally understand how it is to love and be loved. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Now's when my life really begins. Mom, Dad, look at me! I'm driving by myself! 